Hello guys, recently on Filament Discord I noticed a few people complaining that Filament notification emails are not properly sent in Laravel 11 specifically. So I thought it would be important to shoot this video about important change in Laravel 11 settings and how to fix it. So three examples from Discord. First, authentication feature and then can't get it to work. Another example, email verification does not send email. So visually everything works. It says that the email is sent, but it doesn't get actually sent or received. And the third example, database notification not working, the feature of filament called database notifications. So they do not get sent for some reason. And those authentication notifications is just a part of the same problem, just a single use case. So let me demonstrate the problem and the fix. So let's imagine in your panel, you want to enable this feature called password reset in admin panel provider, which allows you to have this page. So on the login page, you have this link forgot password, which should send email to the user. And if I try to send an email, click here, and I have we have emailed you the link successfully. Now at first I tried it with env file setting off mail mailer log, which is supposed to save the email details, the content, the text into a file called storage logs Laravel log. But after I did everything you saw on the screen, Laravel log is empty. Then I thought there may be something with Laravel log and I've changed the settings to send a real email just with MailTrap. I'm using this online service called MailTrap for testing the emails. So now if we try the same thing with those settings of MailTrap, send email, we have emailed you reset link and I go to MailTrap, I refresh and no email in inbox. Inbox is empty, which means it doesn't work. And the problem is in .env file of the default Laravel 11 project. If we scroll a bit higher in the settings of .env, the important part is this. In default Laravel 11, Q connection was changed from sync to database, which means that the queue is enabled by default even if you don't specifically use it. It just stores all the job in the database table, which is a part of default migrations in Laravel now, in Laravel 11. There are jobs, job batches and failed jobs tables created automatically on the installation of Laravel 11. And Filament just happens to use that notification system, which uses jobs and queues under the hood. So if we go to the database, to jobs table specifically, and I refresh the data, we have two jobs here. So those notifications, those emails were not sent because they are still in the queue. The jobs are here they are not launched yet. So if you do want to follow that setting and want to use Q in your project, then you need to take care of PHP Artisan, Q work or Q listen. So if we launch that, running fail, running fail. Oh, the failure happened because I have reset the settings in .env file. So sorry, I will not be able to show the actual email being sent because the jobs already failed and deleted from the queue. So in the jobs table now, it's empty, but what I will show you is working version without the queue. So if we go to .env file and change queue connection to sync, and then we go back to the same page and do the same thing, send email, it's loading for a second or two already, which means that something is happening under the hood. And now if we go to our mail trap, indeed I have a new email in the inbox by Laravel. So yeah, this kind of a long explanation so you would understand the underlying reasons, but all that is to say that database notifications by filament, including those auth features, use queues by default. So you either need to enable the queues, do queue work, queue listen, or whatever is your setup, or change the queue connection value in .env to sync. I hope this will help you to avoid unsent notification emails in filament projects. If you want more videos about filament, subscribe to the channel and see you guys in other videos.